In this lesson, we will see how SSName works. SSName is just used to get the entity name of the object in the selection set based on the index. Once we have the entity name, then we can now explore the properties of that object using nth-get. So let's create our selection set. Let's say we select these four objects. Now let's get the first object, let's say E1, as its name, the selection set that we just created, then the index 0. So this is the first object in our selection set. Here we go. We have the E1. Then let's say we get the properties of E1, EP, E1P, for example. Then we can just and get E1. Now we have the handle of the, the E1 object. The, all of the properties of the text are here. Then we can manipulate this already. So let's say we select another object. E2 SS name selection set our SS then the index 1 remember that the selection set index is uh, 0 based which means that the first object is 0 and the second object is 1 and so on so now we can get the properties of E2 let's say E2P and get up E2. In this case we have the polyline as the second object. So we can continue the selection of objects from within the selection set. Let's say as its name selection set then the index 2 which is our number 3 item then set QE 3P and get up E3. So now we have a circle. So that's just about it for SS name. Very simple. You can use also this SS name when you are processing all the objects in the selection set and get its entity name. And after that, you can get the properties and you can do whatever you want. So that's just about it for SS name. In the next lesson we are going to explore the SS length function. I'll see you in the next video.